From one protest to another, strikes at American snack giant Hostess and Walmart have resulted in two very different outcomes. Hostess is still going bankrupt, but Walmart is ringing in the holiday shopping season with record sales. So is there still a place for the American Workers Union in the labor landscape? CCTV's Jessica Stone takes a look. Despite more than 18,000 American jobs on the chopping block, the bakers at Hostess weren't budging. We've already given back, and they didn't do what they said they were going to do with the last cut, so why are we going to keep giving? So they didn't, and the company is going under. Its executives are asking for nearly $2 million in bonuses, but the top executive blames the Baker's Union. I think that, that the company did not have the funds for capital investment on the one hand. On the other hand, the company had uh, really uh, unworkable union work rules. What do we want? Last week, protests erupted at Walmart stores, too, where unions are outlawed. Despite this recent surge in union activity in the United States, American union membership has actually been shrinking. From 1973 all the way to 2011, it went from 24% to 7% in the private sector. But you can also see this number up here, that's public sector union membership, which has exploded. Labor policy analyst Trey Kovac says that's because American unions haven't changed with the nature of work, which has become less centrally located and more mobile. Now, companies like retail stores, you know, are nimble. They can move, and if workers demand too much, it's very easy to go to a friendlier business climate in a different state or where workers, you know, are willing to work for less. Labor organizer Sarita Gupta says American unions are rebuilding to remain relevant. It means much more decentralized sort of ways in which workers are organized. It may not be, again, by workplace per se, it could be if you look at the uh, if you look at domestic workers, for example, it might be by neighborhoods. One approach: labor organizers offer disgruntled workers assistance in addressing grievances with management without officially forming a union. That's what led to the Walmart protests. Anti-union advocates call it a front for the unions. I actually was with the Walmart associates when they established our Walmart. And have they received a tremendous amount of support from the Food and Commercial Worker, United Food and Commercial Workers? Absolutely, they have. But they are their own governing body. Is there a place for unions in American business? I, I think yes, and I think there always will be. But I think they have to change with the, with the business climate. A change that is already underway. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.